this tutorial is on SQL or structured query language. I'm going to use uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express to demonstrate this. You can actually download this for free and uh, you could follow along if you wanted to. But this is a very basic uh, introductory level uh, tutorial on SQL. And if you are watching this video, you probably know a little bit of what the purpose of SQL is. It's, it's just the language that we use to talk to the database. Uh, some of the basic things we want to do as uh, a programmer is we want to display information from a database. Uh, we want to modify information that's in a database. We might want to delete information that's in a database, or we might want to add things to the database. What we're going to do in this tutorial is just select things from the database or display information from the database. And we're going to use the select command and just give you an introduction or an overview of how the select command works. What I've done here is I've made a simple database of two tables. We have an items table and we have a rooms table. I'll go ahead and, and right click this and open the items table. And what we have here is three basic columns. We have the primary key column, which is just numbered one through 10. We have the item, which is the, the name of the item. And then we have a foreign key column, which is a room ID column. And that's just telling it which item in the rooms table it corresponds to. And we'll open up the rooms table and go ahead and see that we'll have basically three rooms, living room, bedroom, and kitchen. So if you look at the, the items from the items table, they course it tells what room it belongs in. So room one, when we go over here, we'll see is the living room. Room two is the bedroom. So the bedroom items are going to have a room ID of two. And of course, the kitchen is going to have a room ID of three. So those are our tables. When we are in our programs, we need to s use this information. We have to know the where you know which tables and which columns we have, but we need to also have an understanding of how to use SQL to get to do do something with that information. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, query window, so I can actually type in some SQL commands, and we'll see how we work uh, work with the tables or the information in the tables. The, the most basic command of all is the select command. So if I, I'm going to work with the items table here, and what I want to do is I want to see all of the columns from the items table. So I'm going to just say select, and we're going to say select asterisk, or we're going to say select all. Just think of that as the wild card is select all. And we're going to use from items. So select all from items. Now to, to run that, we can just execute. And you'll see down here that it displays those three columns that we looked at earlier uh, in, our, in our results window down here. <coughs> and there's nothing different about this view than when we were looking at it up here in the table view. So that's just our items table. Now, of course, if we wanted to select all from and we don't have to put them on separate lines from rooms. If I could type, <coughs> not ROMs, we want rooms. So I can highlight that so that we only execute this line. And it will indeed give us all of the information from the rooms uh, table. So I'm going to now use another keyword to get information from our items we're gonna say select all from items again but now we're gonna be selective we only want to see the items where the room ID equals two so <clears throat> basically what you're doing there is you're telling it we only want to see the items that are in the bedroom so we'll highlight this and we'll execute it and sure enough it shows us items four through six which have the room ID of two. <clears throat> now it wouldn't make sense necessarily in this but we can use greater than 
so we could say where a room ID is greater than one. So that would show us the room ID of two and three. Uh, we could say less than one, which would be nothing because there is no there is no uh, room ID of zero. But you get the idea. We could say three here, and we would see rooms one and two. So that is the basic how to select information out of the table. Now, if we wanted to select information from both tables, we have to use a join command. And this might seem a little confusing at first, but after doing a few queries, uh, it, it, def it definitely becomes easier to, uh, easier to understand. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna select items from the items table and from the rooms table. What I want to do is I want to the, the main column. I want the item column and the room column. So rather than put select all, I'm going to actually say select item room from items where actually not where inner join. We're going to use a join And we're going to we're going to join since we're selecting from the items table. We have to join another table. There's only one other table, so of course it's going to be rooms. Enter join rooms, and then the keyword on. Now, what we're going to use for the the join is we're going to use the key that uh, and, and describe the key in both tables. What joins those two tables together? So, <coughs> the join is room ID. So in the items table, it's room ID, and it equals the rooms table, room ID. <coughs> so that's basically just telling it to select th the two columns and display all, th all of those items and all the rooms from the items table and the rooms table. And then the this part right here is just tel is telling the uh, Tell, is issuing the command showing that how are these two uh, columns related to each other? They're related through the room ID. So if I highlight this and I execute it, you'll see that it displays all of the items and all of the rooms. Uh, this makes more sense to display to people if we were making a program and we had an item column and a room ID column they might not know what room one, room two, or room three is. And of course, when you, your databases are a little more complex than something that we could probably figure out that the king size bed, the nightstand, and the dresser belong in the bedroom. <coughs> but you get the idea. Uh, this th Again, this was just a basic overview of how to use the select command. Uh, there's a lot of tools nowadays that you can actually kind of get around not having to learn the the syntax but I believe that if you learn at least the basic stuff of the basic way to issue these commands uh, longhand that it will benefit you even if you use a lot of the GUI interfaces that are available to us today as programmers so if you have any comments please uh, leave them below uh, we will look at some other commands in later lessons until then, we'll talk to you later.